Did you know that the way we navigate our emotions can profoundly shape our lives? In a world filled with uncertainty and constant change, understanding how to face our fears, embrace acceptance and foster meaningful connections is more vital than ever. If you want to cultivate resilience, find inner peace and enrich your relationships, you need to explore these 10 essential principles rooted in Stoic philosophy. Each principle offers unique insights and practical tools that can transform your perspective and empower you to live a more fulfilling life. Join me as we dive deep into these powerful concepts and uncover how they can guide you on your journey toward emotional mastery and connection. 1. Facing Fear and Shame Life is a roller coaster filled with highs and lows, isn't it? There's that exhilarating feeling when you finally achieve a goal or step out of your comfort zone and it's pure happiness. But then, lurking in the shadows, we often find fears and doubts creeping in, dampening that joy. Think about a time when you had to speak in front of a crowd. The rush of excitement can quickly shift to a feeling of dread, the heart racing, palms sweating, as you imagine the worst possible outcome. It's relatable, isn't it? Most of us have experienced that fear of judgment, of making a mistake in front of others. Now let's dive deeper into the essence of that fear. Why do we let it hold us back? Fear often stems from the worry of how others perceive us. What if we stumble? What if they laugh? But here's the core content. The truth is, most audiences are not there to judge, they are there to listen and learn, Every speaker has their moments of imperfection. So, rather than viewing these situations as threats, let's reframe them. Each opportunity to speak is a chance to grow, to chip away at that fear and build confidence. This transition from fear to empowerment can be transformative, leading us to confront our limitations rather than letting them define us. As we reflect on our experiences, nostalgia may wash over us. We remember our first speech, the adrenaline, the anxiety, but also the triumph when it was over. The laughter, the applause, even the awkward pauses that made us human. Those moments remind us that vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. They connect us to the shared human experience of facing fear. Think about the last time you felt that rush. How did you overcome it? What lessons did you learn? These reflections tug at our hearts, creating a bond through our shared fears and victories. Now curiosity peaks as we ponder. What if we approached fear not with avoidance, but with open arms? What if we could transform shame into self-acceptance? Imagine embracing your imperfections, standing tall with your flaws and allowing them to guide your growth. How would that change your life? These questions draw us into a deeper understanding of ourselves, inviting us to explore the realm of emotional resilience. 2. Anticipating obstacles. Now, let's shift our focus to another aspect of our journey, anticipating obstacles. Picture this, you're about to embark on a new project or venture, and excitement courses through you. But then, that familiar feeling creeps in, the thought of what could go wrong. It can be a little disheartening, can't it? The initial thrill quickly turns into anxiety as we imagine the myriad of challenges that lie ahead. But let's unpack this. Instead of letting that anxiety consume you, think of it as an opportunity to prepare. This is where the beauty of anticipation comes in. By envisioning potential difficulties, we gain the upper hand. Imagine preparing for that big presentation by considering everything that could go wrong, technical issues, tough questions, or even moments of self-doubt. By facing those scenarios head-on, we can craft thoughtful responses and strategies to navigate them. This shift from dread to proactive planning transforms our emotional landscape. As we delve deeper, we can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia wash over us. We think back to times when unexpected challenges derailed our plans, 
perhaps a project that didn't go as intended, or an event that fell flat. It's easy to feel disheartened by those memories. However, reflecting on those moments reveals a treasure trove of lessons. Each setback taught us resilience, patience, and the importance of flexibility. We realize that obstacles are not just roadblocks, they are stepping stones to growth and wisdom. Curiosity arises as we consider how we can apply these lessons to our present circumstances. How can we develop a mindset that not only anticipates obstacles, but welcomes them as part of the journey? What tools can we utilize to build resilience and maintain our composure in the face of adversity? These questions compel us to explore practical strategies such as premeditatio malorum or the premeditation of evils. This ancient Stoic practice encourages us to visualize potential challenges, not to dwell on negativity, but to enhance our mental fortitude. How might that change our approach to life's uncertainties? 3. Cultivating Inner Strength As we dive into cultivating inner strength, let's start by tapping into that feeling of empowerment. Imagine the moments when you faced adversity head-on, feeling that surge of confidence as you navigated through challenges. It's uplifting, isn't it? Inner strength is that powerful force within us that pushes us forward, even when life throws curveballs our way. It's that unwavering resilience that enables us to rise after every fall. But what lies at the core of this inner strength? It begins with self-awareness, recognizing our emotions, understanding their roots, and observing how they influence our reactions is a profound step towards mastery. We often find ourselves overwhelmed by feelings, caught in a cycle of anxiety or frustration. However, by simply pausing to observe, we create space for reflection. Remember a time when you let anger dictate your response. How did that make you feel afterward? This sense of realization can be nostalgic, reminding us of those moments when we learned the hard way to pause and choose our responses wisely. Curiosity sparks as we ponder how we can further develop this inner strength. What if we actively practice distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot? Stoicism teaches us that while we cannot change others' actions or opinions, we can control our attitudes and responses. Imagine redirecting that energy toward personal growth instead of frustration. How empowering would it feel to focus on your strengths and let go of the things outside your control? Let's take a moment to reflect on forgiveness, a powerful tool in cultivating inner strength. Holding on to grudges drains our energy and clouds our judgment. Think back to a time when you struggled to forgive someone. How heavy did that burden feel? Now, consider the freedom that comes from letting go. By forgiving, we release ourselves from negative emotions, paving the way for healing and personal growth. This transition from resentment to liberation is a beautiful journey, one that invites us to explore the depths of our emotional resilience. 4. Practicing Restraint in Actions As we turn our attention to the principle of practicing restraint, let's first evoke a sense of serenity. Imagine standing at the edge of a serene lake, the water calm and still, reflecting the beauty of the surroundings. In moments of peace, it's easy to feel composed and centered. But then life happens. Situations arise that challenge our calmness, traffic jams, disagreements, or unexpected criticisms. Suddenly that tranquility feels elusive and emotions bubble to the surface. When we delve deeper into the core of restraint, it becomes clear that it's not about suppressing our emotions or denying our feelings. Instead, it's about creating a thoughtful pause between stimulus and response. Remember a time when you reacted impulsively, maybe during a heated argument or when someone cut you off in traffic. The aftermath of that reaction often leads to regret or frustration. Reflecting on those moments, 
we realize that restraint isn't a limitation. It's a powerful tool for enhancing our interactions and maintaining our inner peace. Now, nostalgia creeps in as we recall instances where restraint led to a positive outcome. Perhaps there was a time when you chose to hold your tongue in a conflict, allowing emotions to settle before addressing the issue calmly. That choice transformed a potential confrontation into a constructive conversation. These memories highlight how practicing restraint not only fosters healthier relationships, but also strengthens our self-control. Curiosity ignites as we explore how we can cultivate this practice in our daily lives. What strategies can we employ to enhance our ability to pause before reacting? From mindfulness techniques to deep breathing exercises, there are myriad ways to incorporate this principle into our routines. Imagine approaching each interaction with intention, carefully considering your words before speaking. How might this change your relationships and your overall sense of well-being? 5. Embracing Acceptance Next, let's delve into the transformative power of acceptance. Picture yourself standing in the middle of a bustling city, the noise and chaos swirling around you. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the constant movement and unpredictability of life. Yet, amidst that chaos, lies a profound opportunity for inner peace. Acceptance invites us to embrace reality, to acknowledge that life is a mix of joy and sorrow, success and failure. At its core, acceptance is about recognizing the things we cannot change and finding strength within that acknowledgement. Reflect on a moment when you faced an unexpected challenge perhaps losing a job or experiencing a personal setback. Initially, it's natural to feel frustration and despair. But through acceptance, we unlock a new perspective. Instead of resisting the situation, we can shift our focus to what we can control our actions and responses. This pivot transforms our emotional landscape, allowing us to navigate challenges with grace and resilience. Nostalgia sweeps over us as we remember moments of acceptance that reshaped our lives. Think back to a time when you let go of a past relationship or an unattainable goal. How liberating was that experience? Acceptance isn't about giving up, it's about freeing ourselves from the shackles of unrealistic expectations and allowing ourselves to grow. These reflections remind us that life is a journey filled with lessons and every setback can become a stepping stone toward personal growth. As curiosity takes hold, we begin to wonder how can we cultivate acceptance in our daily lives? What practices can help us embrace reality even when it feels uncomfortable? Mindfulness and meditation emerge as powerful tools encouraging us to stay present and observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. Imagine sitting quietly, observing your feelings as they come and go, without trying to change them. How might this practice enrich your understanding of yourself and your place in the world? 6. Living according to nature Finally, let's explore the profound principle of living according to nature, Imagine walking through a lush forest, the sunlight filtering through the trees, birds chirping in harmony. There's a certain peace that envelops you in nature, a reminder of life's inherent rhythms. Yet, amidst the beauty of the natural world, we often find ourselves struggling against the currents of societal expectations and personal ambitions. Living authentically means aligning ourselves with our true nature and embracing the world as it is. At its core, this principle is about self-awareness and understanding our place within the broader tapestry of life. Reflect on moments when you felt out of sync with your values or the demands of others. It's easy to get swept away by the rush of life, conforming to external pressures instead of honoring our authentic selves. But as we navigate this journey, we realize that living according to nature requires introspection, taking the time to reflect on our values, strengths, and purpose. Nostalgia surfaces, 
as we recall experiences that brought us back to our true selves. Perhaps there was a time you found joy in a simple moment, like spending time with loved ones or pursuing a passion that ignited your spirit. These memories remind us of what truly matters in life, genuine connections, personal growth, and a sense of belonging. When we embrace these moments, we cultivate a life rich in meaning and authenticity. Curiosity sparks as we ponder how we can integrate this principle into our daily lives. What does it mean to live according to nature in a fast-paced, technology-driven world? How can we simplify our lives, focusing on what truly matters? This inquiry invites us to explore practices that foster mindfulness, gratitude, and a deeper connection to our environment. Imagine dedicating time each week to unplug from the noise, to immerse yourself in nature, and to reflect on your journey. How might this commitment transform your perspective on life and your place within it? 7. Building Resilience Through reflection, life's journey is fraught with challenges, each presenting us with opportunities for growth if we take the time to reflect. Think back to a moment in your life when you faced a setback. Perhaps it was a job loss, a failed relationship, or a personal struggle that left you feeling lost. In that moment, the world may have seemed overwhelming, shrouded in darkness. But as you slowly began to unpack that experience, you might have felt a flicker of hope. Reflection allows us to sift through the rubble of our experiences, extracting valuable lessons and insights that build resilience over time. Reflection is more than just looking back, it's an active process of evaluation and understanding. When you reflect on your experiences, you confront the emotions associated with them, be it disappointment, sadness, or even anger. This can evoke a sense of nostalgia as you recall the feelings tied to those moments. But here's the beauty of reflection, it allows us to reframe our narratives. Instead of viewing setbacks as failures, we can see them as stepping stones to greater resilience. By analyzing what went wrong and what we could have done differently, we equip ourselves with the tools to face future challenges with greater confidence and clarity. Consider how many times you've experienced a challenge that seemed insurmountable at first, only to look back later and realize the growth it spurred within you. Perhaps a difficult project at work forced you to develop skills you never knew you had, or a personal crisis pushed you to seek help, leading to stronger relationships. Each of these experiences contributes to your resilience, but only if you take the time to reflect on them. When we allow ourselves to sit with our thoughts and feelings, we not only acknowledge our struggles, but also recognize our strengths and the support systems we have in place. As you embark on your journey of reflection, create a practice that resonates with you. This could be journaling about your daily experiences, engaging in deep conversations with friends, or even meditating on your thoughts. The goal is to cultivate a habit of looking inward, asking yourself questions like, what did I learn from this experience? And how can I apply this lesson in the future? These reflections foster a sense of curiosity, encouraging you to explore your responses and adapt your approaches in life. Moreover, resilience is not a solitary journey. It's often bolstered by the connections we nurture along the way. When you share your reflections with trusted friends or mentors, you invite new perspectives that can illuminate your path forward. This sense of community creates a rich tapestry of support, reminding you that you're not alone in your struggles. The act of sharing your experiences can also bring about nostalgia, as you recall time spent with those who have helped you navigate difficult moments. Together, you build a collective resilience that empowers not just you, but those around you as well. 8. Incorporating Mindfulness In an age where distractions abound and our minds are often cluttered, the principle of incorporating mindfulness serves as a gentle reminder to ground ourselves in the present. 
Imagine waking up one morning, your mind racing with thoughts about work, relationships, and the endless to-do list that awaits you. In that whirlwind, it's easy to forget to pause and breathe. Mindfulness offers us a way to slow down, inviting us to connect with the here and now, rather than getting lost in the chaos of what has been or what may come. The practice of mindfulness evokes a sense of calm and clarity. When you intentionally focus on the present moment, whether it's through deep breathing, meditation, or simply observing your surroundings, you cultivate a deeper awareness of your thoughts and feelings. This practice can be transformative, helping you shift from a place of anxiety to one of acceptance. As you become more attuned to your inner landscape, you may find that emotions, both positive and negative, surface more clearly. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by them, mindfulness encourages you to observe these feelings without judgment, creating space for understanding and growth. Reflecting on your daily experiences through a mindful lens can evoke a sense of nostalgia. Think back to moments of joy when you were fully present, a sunny afternoon spent with friends, the laughter shared over a meal, or the serenity of a quiet walk in nature. These memories remind us of the beauty of being present, the simple pleasures that often go unnoticed in our busy lives. Mindfulness allows us to reconnect with those moments, enhancing our appreciation for life as it unfolds. Curiosity is another vital aspect of mindfulness. When you practice being present, you begin to approach life with a sense of wonder. Instead of rushing through tasks or conversations, you start to notice the details, the way the light filters through the trees, the nuances of a loved one's voice, or the sensations in your body. This heightened awareness not only enriches your experiences, but also fosters a deeper connection to yourself and others. As you cultivate curiosity about your thoughts and feelings, you become more adept at navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine doesn't require monumental changes. Start small, perhaps by setting aside five minutes each morning to sit in silence, focusing on your breath. Or try bringing mindfulness into everyday activities, like savoring your food during meals or truly listening when someone speaks. Each of these practices fosters a sense of presence that permeates your life allowing you to respond to situations more thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. 9. Practicing Gratitude In the grand tapestry of life, practicing gratitude is a thread that weaves together joy, resilience and connection. Picture a moment when you took a step back and reflected on your life, the relationships, the experiences and even the challenges that shaped you. In that moment, you might have felt a swell of appreciation for the people who stood by you, the lessons learned from difficulties, and the simple pleasures that often go unnoticed. Gratitude invites us to embrace life with open arms, recognizing the abundance that exists even amidst struggles. The practice of gratitude begins by shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have. In a world often obsessed with comparison and material success, it's easy to fall into the trap of discontent. But when we consciously acknowledge our blessings, whether it's a supportive friend, a fulfilling job, or even a sunny day, we cultivate a mindset of abundance. This shift not only enhances our emotional well-being, but also sparks happiness and contentment. As we embrace gratitude, we create a reservoir of positivity that helps us weather life's storms with grace. Reflecting on what we're grateful for can evoke nostalgia, bringing to mind cherished memories that fill our hearts with warmth. Think about a time when you received a heartfelt note from a friend or a surprise gesture that made your day. These moments remind us of the connections we've built and the love that surrounds us. When we practice gratitude, we deepen our appreciation for these relationships, 
fostering a sense of belonging and community that enriches our lives. Curiosity also plays a vital role in cultivating gratitude. As you make it a habit to notice the small things, the laughter of a child, the aroma of your morning coffee or the beauty of a sunset, you develop a greater awareness of life's richness. This sense of curiosity encourages you to explore the world around you with fresh eyes, uncovering treasures in everyday moments. The more you practice gratitude, the more attuned you become to the wonders that life offers, transforming mundane experiences into extraordinary ones. To incorporate gratitude into your life, consider keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, jot down three things you're thankful for, no matter how small. This simple act can create a ripple effect, shifting your mindset and enhancing your overall well-being. Additionally, expressing gratitude to others can strengthen your relationships. Take a moment to reach out to someone who has made a difference in your life and share your appreciation. These connections foster a sense of community and support, reminding us that we're all in this together. Gratitude also has a profound impact on resilience. When faced with adversity, practicing gratitude helps us reframe our experiences. Instead of becoming mired in negativity, we can focus on what we've learned and the support we've received. This perspective not only bolsters our emotional strength, but also empowers us to move forward with a sense of hope and purpose. 10. Fostering Meaningful Connections In the heart of our existence lies the fundamental human need for connection. Picture yourself in a crowded room, yet you feel a sense of loneliness. The hustle and bustle of daily life can sometimes leave us feeling isolated, even amidst the noise. Fostering meaningful connections brings warmth and vibrancy to our lives, offering us a sanctuary of support, understanding and shared experiences. Meaningful connections evoke a sense of nostalgia as we recall the bonds that have shaped us. Childhood friendships, family gatherings or the camaraderie built in challenging times. These memories remind us of the joy of belonging, the laughter shared and the comfort found in the presence of others. When we invest in our relationships, we not only enrich our lives, but also cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment that can be profoundly transformative. Curiosity fuels our ability to connect with others on a deeper level. As we engage with friends, family or new acquaintances, we can approach each interaction with genuine interest and openness. Ask questions, listen actively and share your own experiences. This curiosity fosters a sense of empathy and understanding, allowing us to build bridges that span differences and create bonds that withstand the tests of time. Consider the impact of vulnerability in fostering connections. Opening up about our struggles, fears and triumphs can be daunting, yet it lays the groundwork for authentic relationships. As we wrap up our exploration of these 10 transformative principles, remember that the journey toward personal growth and emotional resilience is a lifelong process. Each step you take, whether it's practicing gratitude or fostering meaningful connections, brings you closer to a more fulfilling life. If you've resonated with these ideas and are committed to making a change, drop a comment below. Let me know you've watched this far by typing 100, signaling that you're part of the select few who truly finish what they start. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing these powerful concepts, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Thank you for being here and I look forward to sharing more insights with you in the future.